YouTube! What's going on today? Welcome back to Daily Finance. And boy, do I have a banger video for you today regarding helium antennas, which one's good for your setup and how much you can and how you can earn more H and T by upgrading your antenna. So without further ado, let's get right into the video and answer all those questions you might be having. Let's go, let's get it. Okay, baby, we are back. Yes, sir, we are back. And uh, welcome back to another video. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today is Monday, May the 2nd. And of course, um, it's your boy Ben back here. And today we're talking about helium, of course, and tennis, which is a big, big, big topic. Um, a topic that is probably one of the biggest decisions when you're making, trying to develop your, your setup, other than, of course, your, your hotspot and your location. So there's a lot to cover. So let's get right into it. Today we have 779,000 hot, helium hotspots, which is, an, of course, an increase in uh, hotspots from the last week's videos. Um, the market price today is $13.79. And if you're following helium closely, last weekend we took a big dive downward and it looks like it kind of popped back up. Um, that's another video, of course, in and of itself. I'm sure we'll make one soon regarding helium antennas and how we can select our antennas okay so let's without further ado let's um let's use an example start with selecting upgraded antenna let's call it that and i'm going to use a, a setup like over here in southern california and this is a setup actually it's one of my setups and i want to go over my rationale on which type of antenna i selected and why okay so I sit in one of these hexes, and I sit at a low point compared to the hotspots downstream of me, right? So when I'm when we're first looking at um, our location, the, our first inkling would be to try and you know witness all of these hotspots downstream of us, and that is the correct mentality to have when you're um, picking your you know the DB on your antenna. So the particular, the interesting part about my location is I sit below, like in elevation, I sit below all of these hotspots. So the only way for me to witness them is to get my antenna higher, so at least equal with them, so that we can witness them. And that's very difficult because I'd have to have my hotspot, you know, 100 meters in the air. In order to accomplish that. So I've decided to select a, an antenna, focus on um, hotspots I can actually witness, uh, which is common sense. Um, if you didn't know that you sat below these, then you would never actually be able, you know, you'd be trying to, you know, witness these people. And unless you were able to put it so far up in the air, you wouldn't be able to. And you'd buy a, you know, a, <laughs> you'd buy a nine db antenna or the biggest one that you could find and then you know you'd still be only with you know those that you could witness so dbi will not uh, the higher the dbi will not help you witness um hot spots that um are just higher than you so keep that in mind when selecting your antenna the next thing that we should talk about is the the company in antenna you're going to purchase and personally i have purchased antennas from three different companies and then if you include the stock antennas that come with the with the miners I've tested those and the number one company that I've come across that helped boost my earnings the most was McGill and helium's a very interesting topic because you get for what you pay for and the easiest the most amazing thing about the helium community is a lot of people are willing to share their experiences and they're able to do reviews and things like this so that you know the majority of the community can benefit and behoove uh, from it. So me personally, I only recommend uh, you guys using uh, McGill antennas. I know there are another, there are a lot of great antennas out there. Rack makes a good uh, antenna, um, but I just haven't been able to to review any other the other antennas than the ones that I've reviewed. Obviously, I have to purchase these <laughs> antennas with my own money. So um, I've found Miguel from other YouTubers, other YouTube videos, and I've done some testing myself based off of some random uh, other antennas that I, I purchased before, um, you know, getting really into helium. 
And so um, the best one that I can come up with, the best one that I've used, tested, and tried was McGill. And so that's why I am recommending that to you, uh, you guys. So the best way that I can prove, I guess, <laughs> how good the McGill antennas are, are is to um, show you guys with some testing that was performed and to show you specifically the signal strength of of the um, McGill antenna versus some other random uh, antenna that I bought on Amazon, right? And so what I did was, this this is my antenna, or my uh, hotspot here. And what I did was, I found a common beacon uh, between the random antenna that I bought on Amazon and the McGill. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, compare the you know, the RSSI between the two, okay? And so, yeah, April 24th, I um, witnessed this beacon from Sour Shadow Lizard, right? And my RSSI was minus 120 dBm, okay? And the thing to keep in mind is the closer the number is to zero when you have a negative integer for RSSI, the stronger the signal. If the number was positive, then the higher the number. So essentially, the higher the number on the RSSI, the higher the signal strength. So this it was on April 24th after I had put on my 7.5 dB antenna and the RSSI was minus 120. Then I scrolled down right after I asserted my location here with uh, the random um, antenna, the random 5.8 dB antenna. Okay. I found the same witness or the same beaconer that I witnessed with that antenna. And you see that the RSSI is minus 124. So the signal strength is about 4 dBm stronger with this 7.5 McGill antenna than it is with the random one that I, I bought on Amazon. And that's the only way that I can prove to you that um, you know the McGill is superior. Do your research on, on your antennas before you get them. But remember, you get what you, what you purchase. You, know, you try to go cheap, you'll get cheaper. And um, the only way that we can earn money at this point in, in Helium is through witnessing. And you want to put yourself in the best position to witness as much as you can. And you do that by selecting good antennas with good signal strengths, right? So you can witness a lot, a lot more. And putting it as high as you can and, and actually kind of following the, the tips that we gave in the, in the previous video that I'll put on the, up on the screen or in the description below. Okay, so let's go over uh, a couple of um, McGill antennas. So um, I actually have an affiliate link that I will also put in the description below. Um, you can kindly, if you'd like, to give back to this channel. Um, if you're going to buy an antenna and you're going to buy a McGill, please use my link. Uh, I do get a small percentage. Um, and it'll help just kind of help our, our channel grow and so I can you know make more and more videos for you. And if you enjoy our content, please like, subscribe, um, comment. Um, it really does do wonders for us and and I hope to, to, to help you guys out more and more each time. okay So again, the the links for all of these antennas will be in the description and if you're gonna buy one, please do using the, the link. And again, I do get a, a small percentage of that. So thank you very much. Um, so let's, let's, let's go right into it here. So we have this 7.5. This is the one here for my one of my hotspots. Okay. And then I also have two 6.0 uh, antennas as well. I have two of the six. And that's because of their the, the specific radiation field that the six provides. Um, was better for the for the hotspots that I that I deployed in a, in a different location, okay. And so the radiation field you can you can always find in um, in uh, McGill's if you just scroll down. Here's the radiation field. It's kind of wider um, this way, and that's why I I, I used it. So um, so I'll, I so with these uh, antennas they have an N type male connector, right? So you need an N type female to um, to connect to. Okay, so I will also um, put in the link uh, in the description a LMR four hundred um, cable that you know works with SenseCap, um, Rack, um, Fenestra. Uh, so those are the three that I that I have. 
So uh, I'll link that in the description. Remember, when you're buying an LMR400, you want to have the cable as short as you can, right? So you don't get uh, a loss, a DBI loss. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll link one that, that I've bought from McGill that works really well, and um, we'll kind of go from there. Other than that, uh, that's basically all I have for you. Um, truly, your guys' support means the world to me, and um, you know, upgrading your antenna has has increased my rewards by a lot. And using the stock antennas, while they're great, they're plug and go. Um, these are very pretty, almost inexpensive. Ninety one dollars on your ROI um, doesn't really change much. Um, the nine DBI antenna, there is a wait for, I will say that. And um, it's one of the good antennas though. So if you're willing to wait and the radiation field on the nine DB antenna is, you know, would behoove you, I would also um, kind of recommend this nine, nine DBI antenna. But just remember how you're shrinking the, the field and you're just trying to get further. This could work for the previous example that I, I uh, showed you, but I just kind of couldn't wait. It might, they might actually have it uh, available. Let's see. Oh yeah, it looks like it's available now. So if you really wanted to, um, to purchase it, then um, you could. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much what I have for you. Um, just remember that upgrading these upgrades makes sense only if they increase your um, rewards and upgrading your antenna and height are the number one and two ways that I've increased my rewards and it's pretty it's been pretty significant so we'll leave it at that okay um, again check out the description for all of the links and um, there might even be a discount code in there if you use my link so check it out and ask any questions that you want in the comments. Uh, I, I love to go back and, and check them out and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, thank you for clicking on today's video. Your, thank you for your support. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right, take care. Bye-bye.